what would be the most disgusting way you've heard of someone eating chicken? Because I've seen there was blending like, it. I've yeah, heard people blend yeah. it in water with shit and drink it. I'm like, ugh, that'd just be chunky and <laughs> be like vomit. <laughs> <laughs> be like what I threw up. And people do that with tuna too. They put tuna in a shake and go, go, go. I'm like, fuck that. If you're going to go to that extreme, I wouldn't bother having it. Okay. Hello, Lee. Hello. My name is Zach Dotson. I'm an amateur bodybuilder, powerlifter. I'm just getting started, so I don't well, know. make up your mind. What do you want to be, a powerlifter or a bodybuilder? Just hear fuck? me out. Hear I am hearing out. you out. Hear me out because it's going to get a bit more complicated. Oh, Jesus. I'm just started, so I don't know shit. I weigh 205 pounds, 5 foot 11, and I have natural potential. Do I need to cut down to 180 pounds and then bulk up to 225 and then cut back down? Or should I bulk up to 225 pounds and then cut back down to 180 pounds first? Bulk, cut, bulk, cut. My question yeah. is, do I need to bulk first or cut first? If I weighed 180, I would be shredded just to give you an idea where I'm at. Thank you, sir, for your time. I haven't finished. <laughs> right now, my diet consists most. Morning, half a cup of brown rice, three cans of tuna, 20 grams protein per can. Is that breakfast? Night, half cup of brown rice, three cans of tuna. He so like, he, likes, he likes tuna. So he's, he's having two meals Brown. Why wouldn't he just have like eggs or something in the okay. morning? Eggs and wholemeal toast or something. I don't have the options to use weights right now. I mostly focus on up downs, burpees, and running. And how's he? How can he say he's a powerlifter or a bodybuilder if he doesn't use weights? I think he was Where trying is he, to in I prison. Think, is he no, in pri I think he's trying to. I, I, I'm assuming he doesn't have a lot of money. And I, he mentioned later. I didn't want to embarrass him that he was training at the the gym and i don't think he was paying or something like that so how can you help zach out bulk cut or cut bulk or well if he doesn't have lots of money how's he going to bulk if he can only eat tuna if he's going to bulk it have to increase his calories and eating tuna and rice you're not going to get you'd have to eat a truckload well for starters i was going to say get rid of the brown rice because they apparently that's <clears throat> bad for you i him, prefer but... basmati or something yeah 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 maybe Eat fried rice. <laughs> but I don't know. I'd be like eating eggs. I would try to get eggs or I don't know. But what about even... Um, Eat rice and condensed milk. <laughs> Make it a dessert. Peanut butter. No, but what about even just breaking up the... Instead of having two... Meals of tuna and rice. Yeah. Why don't we just start with... Chicken. Chicken thighs. They're cheap, or chicken mints, or... Well, even just eggs. Uh, yeah, well, you can make, like, eggs, and you could throw in the rice and make a stir-fry out of the mints, and if you get it cheap in bulk, you can make up quite a few meals out of that, or turkey mints or chicken mints. You can buy chicken thighs. They're a lot cheaper than breast, but if you're not, you know, you're bulking up, you can get meals out of that with rice or vegetables, or just get a... Potatoes are pretty cheap. Get a bag of potatoes. You can boil them, bake them, mash them. Okay, so first, Zach, you need to vary your diet yes, and eat yes. more frequently. Mm -hmm. Is that the only two meals he has? Yeah, well, that's what it just had. But also, right. but even if you can get like cheap milk or a powdered milk, and just like if you can't afford protein powder, just make a shake out of the milk, add some peanut butter, yeah, maybe a banana, just add stuff like that. Even oatmeal, oatmeal's cheap. Add a half a cup of oatmeal, did a shake, it'll blend in, you won't taste it, so... There's different things you can do, but he needs to mix it up a bit. And like I said, there's lots of cheaper options out there too, like potatoes, bake them, make them into chips. I've done that before, cut them really thin and nuke them yep. in the microwave that they dehydrate. <laughs> so mashed potatoes easy to eat. So Yeah. And so with the And I used to eat drumsticks a lot too. I just boil them if you want if you're worried about the fat content, just boil the drumsticks. Get the fat out of it and put a bit of garlic in the water. They're actually nice. It sounds pretty shit, but they actually taste good. Yeah, I'd never thought of that. Hmm. I used to boil chicken in the even chicken breast with garlic in the water, and they're pretty tender because you know chicken breast. Yeah. If you grill them or bake yeah. them, it's that fine line of tender to dry. Boiling them, they never came out dry at all. And with the garlic in the water, they tasted okay. Or then sometimes I'd get the chicken breast, cut it in half, and then put like some low-fat cheese in the middle and bake it in the oven. So it's almost like a healthy corn on bleu. <laughs> 
Well, even these days, like I think, you know, you could put full fat, but just a little bit of yeah, ch- even yeah, just a yeah, because not much fat in a slice of cheese or something. So, so back to the boiling of a chicken breast, mm-hmm. would you um, pan it at the end or you no, just, just take it out of the water and eat it? And like I said, people go, "Well, that sounds disgusting," but when they eat it, it's actually nice and tender and tastes good. What would be the most disgusting way you've heard of someone eating chicken? Because I've seen there was blending like, it. I've yeah, heard people blending yeah. in water with shit and drinking. I'm like, ugh, that'd just be chunky and yeah, be like vomit. <laughs> <laughs> be like what I threw up. And people do that with tuna too. They put tuna in a shake and go, go, go. I'm like, fuck that. If you're gonna go to that extreme, I wouldn't bother having it. Yeah, but that'd be just like vomit because it's already blended and chewed vegetables and chicken and you're drinking it down oh. what was the worst way you've eaten chicken just fried or baked and dried out yeah yeah <laughs> overcooked that's probably the worst way yeah i'd, I'd rather have it like i said boiled than like i said because sometimes too you got to cut it like you sometimes you get the big chicken breast where you know they're thicker at one end yep so one end might be cooked but then the other end's still a bit raw so when you're cooking this end this part here fucking dries out so generally if it's really thick you got to cuddle in half and butterfly it or whatever because like i said if you try and cook one end and the other end it's like <laughs> half's good half's dried yeah uh, trying to eat something with it. that's when you get the mashed potatoes to eat with it just so the mashed potato washes it down but even tuna i remember having tuna I used to wash it under the water to get all the sodium out of it. And if you wash tuna a few times under water, it becomes <laughs> like eating cardboard. <laughs> no, so I used to just get tuna in the end, put it in a saucepan, just throw in some tomato and onion and just like yes. stir it all together in a saucepan and put that over the top of rice. If you put a bit of garlic and herbs in it, if you put that on top of the rice, it's so much easier to eat with the just onion and tomato with it. What, what's your favourite method of cooking a chicken breast? Mm, it used to be probably on the barbecue because your barbecue just gives it a bit of flavour. Yeah. And as like I said, it's just easier to eat. <laughs> but it's so weird that I could cook so many chicken breasts and I'd hate it. My wife could be like, cook it the exact same way and I'd be like, oh, what'd you do to this? <laughs> She's like, nothing. For some reason when somebody else cooks it for you, because I cooked that many over the years, I got to the point where even as I'm cooking it, the smell of it, I'd be like... <sighs> Just the smell of the chicken breast cooking, I wouldn't want to eat it. So when, oh, by the time I'm going to eat it, my mind's already turned off. Yep. So when somebody else cooks it and brings it to me, I'm like, fuck, this tastes so good. <laughs> and it's cooked the same way. Well, like I said, if you get the cheese, you can put it in the middle. Or if I cut the chicken breast thin so it's like that, I'll just get like a slice of cheese, rip it in half and put half on each on top of the chicken and it just melts on it. So even just having that little bit of chicken with cheese makes it taste so different. Yeah, chicken breast. Easier bread. to eat. Chicken breast by itself sometimes is like, oh. <laughs> have a know, drink, have a drink, know, wash it down. <laughs> it's almost like you blended it. You got to wash it down with something, yeah. Yeah, no. It's- Even like my vegetables, sometimes I got sick of eating vegetables. So you know how you like make mashed potato? I'd take the broccoli and the carrots and all that and fucking mash it all together. You know, it's got like a vegetable mash. That was so much easier to eat the vegetables that way than, you know, if you've got like back in the day, I'd have a big pile of beans and broccoli and you know, like, oh you're trying to eat it by the time you get to one of them it's already cold so you're just like but if you blend it all together mash it all together and just make like you can even make healthy bubble and squeak you know you put the potato and vegetables together and just make a patty and dry fry it so easy to eat that way it's so much easier to eat and did you find when you were dieting that Mm -hmm. a bit more hungry that the the stuff would taste better oh yeah much better like when i start dieting i hate everything I wouldn't even eat, I hate cucumber, but when I'm into a diet, well, that cucumber's good. <laughs> your taste buds do change. You'll eat anything on your plate because you're starving. So, yeah. But even like I had a friend, he would get the chicken breast because he owned like slick chicks and he had a, had a sausage machine. So he'd get like those casings that, you know, the sausages go in, but he'd just put chicken breast and vegetables in the thing and it would make them into sausages for me. So I'd just be having like chicken breast sausages and because they're in a sausage form, it was so much easier to eat because you're like, oh, I'm having sausages. Well, it's just chicken breast and vegetables in that little thin yeah, skin. Yeah. So you can do so many ways. Like I said, that's why I'd bl- you can grind up, get the chicken mints and vegetables and put it and just make patties. Because I have like, if I had the chicken breast here and all the vegetables, I'm like, I oh, don't look so much to eat. But if I put four chicken patties like that on my plate with barbecue sauce, you're like, fuck, they're gone. 
so easy to eat and it's easy to eat too and if you're working somewhere you put like risole type patties in a container it's better than sitting down this in the container you've got broccoli and chicken it stinks up everything where if you've got like little patties like that still got all the protein and vegetables in it's easy to eat yeah. you can make tuna patties too because you know fish patties are a lot easier to eat oh. mixed with vegetables and even if i was in the off season i'd sometimes get like the i'd make bread crumbs at home even though if you can buy wholemeal bread crumbs yep. I just dip it in egg whites and put the breadcrumbs on the patties, so it made it like a crumb patty. I used to do that with the chicken. I'd, I'd get what I was with Kathy. She'd get the chicken breasts, and she'd really bang them out flat and do the same thing, just blend up some egg whites or a whole egg, dip it in that, then dip it in the breadcrumbs, and you just make, like, chicken schnitzels out of the chicken breasts and breadcrumbs yourself. That was much easier to eat. You can eat a ton of them like that, or you make little – yeah, you can buy those chicken tenders. Yep. Do your own breading of them. They're so easy to eat. It's like chicken fingers, but healthy chicken fingers. But how would you cook the um, – the Dry fry it. Just like spray the oil on the pan and turn them over, yeah. But still, the only way to eat it is a, a snitty – yeah. in the oil yeah 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 well, you can probably use healthy oils if you want but i wouldn't like soak it in it but you could probably use a little bit no, of oil i'm not in. talking about being healthy i'm just uh, talking about the deep it, fryer it, eating it. <laughs> dipping it in that is that's the best way to eat chicken. of course yeah. <laughs> the pub chicken schnitzels that are this thick and come out nice and tender yeah 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 that's the um that's the secret the prawn cutlets mm. All right. calamari so we got a bit sidetracked for that, <laughs> but but um, maybe vary yeah. up your diet and mm-hmm. instead of doing burpees and running, maybe just do push ups and all the Chin-ups, body weight exercises crunches. that 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 um, Lee has talked about. Yeah, body weight dips. Yep, yep. Just vary it up, and all right. <laughs> 